How many of you cringe just hearing the words economic meltdown? Yeah, major financial disasters are painful, no doubt. Lives and livelihoods are disrupted in massive ways. But here's an uplifting truth. Sometimes the darkest storms spur the most needed change. Today, let's look at two major economic meltdowns that had unexpected silver linings. Out of crisis, meaningful regulations and reforms were born that helped safeguard financial systems. The suffering wasn't in vain. Let's start with the big one. The 1929 stock market crash that sank America into the Great Depression. During the late 1920s, there was a rapid increase in stock prices. This led to a speculative bubble as prices rose much faster than corporate earnings and dividends. As a result, values became unhinged from economic realities. People started using borrowed money for widespread leveraged buying practices, commonly called buying on margin. This amplified the gains as prices rose, but also accelerated the ensuing losses. On October 29, 1929, prices started falling sharply as worried investors began selling. The losses were multiplied because of the massive amounts of borrowed money. Banks started foreclosing on margin purchases, forcing more selling. Since there were no government safety nets, there was no backstop as selling pressure increased. By late October, stock values had fallen by over $30 billion, which was close to 40% of paper wealth lost. Three days later, on Black Tuesday, prices collapsed by over 12%. Plummeting share prices triggered bank runs as everyone wanted cash, not assets. Failed banks and decreased wealth caused consumer spending to tank, deepening the crash into the Great Depression. This meltdown was as bad as it gets. Nearly half of all U.S. banks failed. Unemployment surged to 25%. The stock market lost 90% of its value. Soup kitchen lines stretched for blocks. But in the ashes of this financial cataclysm, reform flames were lit. FDR's New Deal policies helped strengthen the banking system. And landmark legislation passed that better protected average Americans from Wall Street risk-taking. The Glass-Steagall Act erected a firewall between investment and commercial banking activities. Commercial banks hold customer deposits and lend to local communities. Investment banks deal in speculative trading and securities activities. By separating them, the act ensured that risky trading by Wall Street firms couldn't threaten ordinary savers' deposits if those firms failed. It stabilized America's banking system and protected people's life savings from being gambled away through speculation. Glass-Steagall provided this crucial protection for over 60 years. However, deregulation efforts in the 1980s to 90s led to its tragic repeal in 1999 under the Financial Services Modernization Act. This allowed investment and commercial banking to mix again, paving the way for future crises. Meanwhile, the Securities Exchange Act established the SEC as a watchdog over Wall Street to bring desperately needed oversight, transparency, and guardrails. The unregulated 1920s stock market had been like the Wild West, rampant manipulation and insider trading with zero protections for the public. But the SEC shone a light on these shadowy practices. Strict reporting requirements improved transparency around company finances and bond offerings. The SEC could prosecute fraud and manipulation. These safeguards boosted public trust in markets. While the Depression wrecked lives, its legacy was bringing stability and security to finance. Sometimes the hardest lessons spur the most progress. Quick question, do you think another crash on the scale of 1929 could happen again? Or has it already happened? Share your thoughts in the comments below, and consider hitting the like button if you're enjoying this video so far. Jumping ahead a few decades, let's take a look at the 1970s energy crisis. This meltdown centered around oil, the lifeblood that fuels economies. In 1973, Arab oil producers imposed an embargo against the U.S. for supporting Israel. Prices quadrupled, supply plummeted, gas shortages swept America, fistfights broke out at pumps, fuel rationing coupons were issued, the national speed limit dropped to 55 miles per hour to conserve gas. The energy party came to a grinding halt. If you thought the recent spike in gas price was so bad, think again. This was 10 times more severe. Oil giant companies like Exxon and Chevron posted record profits from price spikes, while smaller regional gas station owners went bankrupt from shortages. Automakers like Ford faced sales declines during the fuel rationing until they created more efficient models. 
Airlines like Pan Am struggled with higher fuel costs. But this crisis energized innovations that still benefit us today. Higher auto fuel economy standards were enacted, saving consumers money at the pump. The race to enhance domestic energy supplies accelerated. The fuel pinch sped up the adoption of alternative energies like solar, wind, and geothermal. Investment and tax credits for renewables flowed. Energy conservation finally became a priority. Again, a breakdown ultimately moved the ball forward. The 1970s meltdown diversified energy sources and put efficiency front and center. The future became a bit more secure. Are economic meltdowns ever worth the pain? Of course not. But we honor those who suffered by learning from mistakes, and building a sturdier foundation benefits generations to come. The next time you hear warnings about impending financial doom, remember, history shows we can emerge stronger. That's it for today's video. What are your thoughts? Let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Your support helps us reach more people with our content. Thanks for watching, and consider watching our other videos right here.